What is up guys, so Wolfpack here and today I have a brand new figure to show you guys. This time I have a ARC Trooper figure from Star Wars and I gotta say that this is probably one of my favorite figures as far as army builder type of figures I've done. I mean I have done some very simple ones but uh, like Mandalorian wise and Stormtrooper wise and even clone trooper wise or uh yeah i mean like for example the scarf trooper from rogue one or death trooper from rogue one as well this is probably my favorite one out of all the army builder figures i've ever done and i mean i'm very proud of this figure and it it kind of hurts me but i'm actually gonna be putting this figure on ebay for sale so there's gonna be a link in the description to the uh, option if it hasn't been bought already so anyways um, this figure I pretty much spent about five hours making or so and I don't know it, it just I've always wanted to make a figure like this in arc trooper figure I don't know if on your screen it it shows the color how it is but in real life it's a purple figure uh, purple arc trooper figure sorry and uh i mean it's the style of of like uh what what to call the maze windows legion that type of color uh, of purple but i mean on my camera it doesn't seem that purple but in real life it is but anyways um uh yeah the the figure is just pretty amazing in my opinion it is using a episode 2 clone trooper helmet which just makes the entire figure even cooler i believe and he is using a clone army customs rifle but we will get into the details in just a little bit so let's get right into it and here is the arc trooper figure from up close or i guess a 360 view of him and uh yes this figure is using some uh heavily modified uh um, I guess not heavily modified, but it is using a lot of fabric. This figure is using um, a lot of super glue actually, uh, especially on the pauldron and uh, some on the wastecape. And uh, here and there, I mean, I had to make a little modification to that ammo pouch that he has on his pauldron and a little on the back to make the grenade that all clone troopers and stormtroopers and all those guys have and uh, yes this is a clone army customs rifle like I just said uh, which is pretty simple I mean I like I person I personally like the brick forge version better but for this this uh, time I'm, I'm using this one because I think it looks pretty good and uh, I'm just gonna take it out of the way for just a minute and I did paint like the scope uh, not on the other side though but I still think it's a cool cool weapon for this figure and uh for the helmet this is an episode two phase one clone trooper helmet a white one i painted uh, the purple onto the helmet and the antenna is a normal black antenna lego antenna with the top painted with purple and under the helmet a clone trooper head that we've all seen before and i'm gonna show you the pauldron this is actually the first time i ever do a pauldron at least like this uh using metal uh i mean shout out to noble 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 artist sorry and uh bricks and minifigs uh they both inspired me to make my own uh pauldron made out of metal i mean ever since i started planning on how to make this figure i thought on metal because it's sturdy enough and actually no i thought of fabric of course because i use a lot of fabric but then i thought that the fabric would be pretty i don't know flimsy or not sturdy enough to to keep its shape when on the figure and so i took the noble artists and bricks and minifigs uh 1078s idea of using uh, metal but 
uh, I believe they use slightly, actually I'm not sure if Bricks and Milkshakes uses metal on the pauldron. I know he makes his own type of, uh, not type, but his own pauldrons and wastecapes. Uh, and that's cool too. But uh, especially Noble Artists, uh, link in the description to his channel. He's a very cool guy. Um, he does pauldrons with metal, but I know he uses... Uh, he does the metal on on these shapes, but I paint it on each and every one of these uh, triangles and squares. And then with a uh, hole punch thingy, I punched out the circle on top. And there we have the pauldron of how I made it. A quick walkthrough of it. And so we're going to put the head on. And well, I uh, uh, at the end I just put this uh, ammo pouch right there, and then for the arms I did like the armor painted on the armor piece, the shoulder pad, not elbow, but the forearm piece, with a little uh, silver uh, bracelet type of thing right there, which looks pretty cool. And same thing on the other side, just you no know, uh, silver br bracelet, just a simple arm. Uh, no printing or no painting on the torso back or front. I just added this grenade back here And for the wayscape, I did a simple piece of fabric wrapped around his hips I glued on to his hips and uh, for the knee pads I painted on some knee pads and you can barely see right there That they are painted with purple the knee pads Which is all very very cool. I believe so so yeah, that's pretty much it It, it for my uh, Arc Trooper figure that I really, really like. And well, this figure is going to be up for sale on my eBay. So if you're interested, this figure, um, I'm not sure how much I put it on for eBay because I'm recording this before I put it up on eBay. But if you're interested in this figure, it's going to be in the description below to my eBay directly to this figure's auction if it's not there it means i took it down because someone already bought it but yeah let's move ahead and we shall conclude this video so that pretty much wraps it up for this video but don't worry there will be plenty more custom figures in the future on this channel very soon guys and i just hope that you enjoyed this figure and i hope this inspires you to make your own arc trooper figures and if you do just let me know because I love seeing what other people do, uh, whether it's made by themselves or if it's inspired by my work or whatever. I just love seeing guys and, and I guess girls or just people in general uh, just do their thing, do their own stuff with Legos and it's just fantastic. But anyways guys, don't, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description to my Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment, tell me what you think about this figure, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. And this is goodbye, and I will see you guys later. May the force be with you.